Okay guys, welcome to another uh, Who Would Win, and this time I'm pitting Jasper from Steven Universe versus Gorilla Grodd from, of course, DC Universe. Now, um, very interesting, and you're probably wondering, well, did you get the idea from watching the newest episodes of The Flash? And I was like, yeah, but I was, of course, a <laughs> big surprise, disappointed with The Flash <laughs> this week, so I decided, you know what? Um, even though, you know, they brought Grodd back, so I'm gonna t I want to do a fight with him, and I thought Jasper would be an interesting opponent. Now, the big thing with both Jasper and Grodd is that despite their, their huge size, you'd think they'd be big and slow, right? No. Both Jasper and Grodd are actually surprisingly agile. You have guys remember that Grodd is an ape. Very big ape, but he still... He's actually, mo like most gorillas of Gorilla City, are actual, they're actually very agile, and both of them are, both Jasper and Grodd, are incredibly intelligent. And Grodd, also of course, you can't, um, you also can't leave out that he's a telepathic gorilla. He is quite capable of just reaching into your mind and <laughs> ripping it apart, or taking you over and make you hit yourself, or will make you walk off a cliff. Um, with Jasper, she's more of a hands-on approach. She's been, she's had thousands of years of battle experience from the War for Earth from then on. Uh, Jasper is a brutal fighter as well as she's very smart, but she usually just kind of over she kind of over not overthinks. Um, she underestimates some of, some of her opponents. That's kind of the big thing, and she'll she'll probably look at Grodd and go, "It's some kind of big Earth creature." You know, I could you know I'm not gonna lose to big some big animal <laughs> from Earth. And, yeah. Now, Grodd, the other thing is that Grodd's an, a pretty good hand-to-hand -hand fighter, but however, he doesn't really have a fighting style. It's more smash, 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 bite your face off. <laughs> um, and maybe some shit throwing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway. So, Grodd is... he's a very brutal fighter. Jasper does look like she also has that kind of level of brutality in her fights. But the thing with Jasper is that she's a little more um, refined in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, it appears. Also, she's incredibly strong. Grodd's strong, too, but Jasper has shown that she can knock over a creature twice her size and beat it into submission, as you guys remember with the uh, gem mutants she had under her control. And that was not even through mind control. That was more like, do what I say or I beat you. <laughs> yeah. Um, Grodd is also not only a powerful telepath, he's also a powerful telekinetic, so he could just pick up things or Jasper with his, uh, with his mind and just slam her into the ground. The other thing you have to consider is that, could Grodd take over Jasper's mind? Because Jasper is technically a being made of pure energy. She's made of a manifestation of light. So, yeah, that's gonna be hard, because, yeah, she's technically a rock. So that's a tough one, really. But also, the other thing that, so that's a tough one to kind of say, of, I'll let you guys decide on, you know, could Jasper be t hit, hit from a mental attack from Grodd. Um, but the big thing is that the major weakness with all gems, this isn't just Jasper, but with all gems, is that their gems are incredibly fragile, and you crack them, they'll, you know, their bodies will need to be, um, their bodies will start to disassemble. If they're shattered, they're dead. <laughs> so that's kind of um, what we're looking at here is... If, um, Grodd, you know, if Grodd can, you know, Grodd can just get one punch in, that's probably do it in for Jasper. Or if he can just rip it off of her face and just crush it. So, yeah, her, <laughs> her, um, her weakness is right in your face. But however, Jasper's not going to let you and take your, and let you take her nose. Of course, she also has her main weapon, her helmet, um, which is, can actually break through solid boulders. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure she could rip a car in a half, judging by her strength. Grodd can do that, too. Plus, um, Grodd has a tendency... I don't know if this is a thing anymore, but in the pre-52, Grodd had a tendency to eat people's brains to increase his uh, mental abilities. So the more brains he ate, uh, the, more mental ab the more his mental abilities grew. Uh, both fighters are incredibly brutal. Um, they both uh, use some really dirty tactics in their uh, fighting skills. But Jasper is a soldier, and she's had thousands of years of battle experience. Grodd's not so much a soldier as he is more of a scientist. He's also more of a, I'm gonna, you know, I'll do it myself, but I'm gonna let other people do it first. So Grodd's not above getting his hands dirty, but he will, uh, but he's more along the lines of, I'm, <laughs> I don't need to do this. Go get him. 
Um, or just mind control somebody and have them fight, you know, exhaust them, and then Grodd can just come in. But if it comes down to it, Grodd will come down from his throne and beat your ass senseless and probably bite your face off. <laughs> so, this is a tough one. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a really tough one, guys. Um, both of these guys are really... Both Jasper and Grodd are incredibly brutal fighters. Um, they're completely savage. They're both incredibly intelligent. Um, and they all have their... They each have their own pros and cons. Of course, Jasper's had thousands of years of battle experience, but Grodd is a powerful psychic. So he can just mentally predict what she's going to do and go after him. Again, assuming that um, he can read a gem's mind. So this is a really tough one. So, you guys tell me in the comments below, if you think uh, Grodd would win, put hashtag Grodd wins and list off the reasons why you think Grodd would win, or if you think Jasper would win, uh, just put hashtag Jasper wins and list off the reasons why you guys think she should win. But yeah, really interested to see what you guys have to say about this one, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.